Hey everybody, welcome back, my name is Alex, and today we have something very important to talk about. Fan noise from the new MacBook Pros. And we're gonna compare them to the fan noise from some of these other machines I got here. What are we comparing? The 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro Intel. So we know it's got uh, some noise under the belt, don't we? We've already heard it many times on this channel. Now, we're actually going to take some measurements. Here we've got a MacBook Air, We'll see how loud that is. Don't yell at me in the comments. <laughs> this is just a joke. Now, let's get serious. Here we've got the 16 inch MacBook Pro 2021, the notch edition, and this one has an M1 Max chip in it. That may or may not have any effect on the noise level. I don't know. Now here we have the 14 inch notch edition. <laughs> And this one has an M1 Pro chip in it. So here are all the laptops. They're all running the same versions of everything, including the operating system. Now, this little app measures the decibel levels. And I'm going to place the phone right on the computer, just like this. And my room ambient noise level is about 26, 27 decibels right now. If I don't talk for a second, you'll see. There we go. Now I do have a program called TG Pro installed on all these machines, which tells you the temperature of each single core. This is not sponsored or anything, but uh, just found this program and it's really cool because it describes the temperature and this fan speed, but also it lets you control the fans. So I'm gonna max out the fans and we'll measure the sound level. Let's start with a 14 inch MacBook Pro. So I'm gonna go up here, fans set on max. Okay, we're hitting about 65, 66 decibels right now. I don't know if you can hear that in the microphone, but I can hear a significant amount of noise over here. All right, let's go back to system and that shuts the fans off. Good, now it says fans off. Let's go to the next machine. This is the 16 inch MacBook Pro, notch edition, fans to max. We're hitting 75 decibels here. And I kind of have to uh, raise my voice a bit to hear everything. I don't know if the microphone is picking this up. It's pretty loud. So we're about 10 decibels louder than the 14 inch. Moving on, MacBook Air. Just kidding, folks, come on. It does not have a fan. And you can see TG Pro takes that into account. There is no fan information and there is no fan control, just temperature gauge. Now, finally, this beast right here, the uh, 2019 Intel MacBook Pro. Put your guesses down below how many decibels you think this one will be. Go ahead, put a comment down below, let me know. You can't edit it afterwards. The ambient operating speed of the machine just sitting there doing nothing is 1700 RPM. Might as well tell you the ambient temperatures of everything before we do the test. This 14 inch is 52 degrees. The 16 inch 2021, 49 degrees. MacBook Air is sitting at nice cool 39 degrees and the Intel machine is rocking 60 degrees. Just sitting there resting, not doing anything. Let's max out the fan and see what it sounds like. So we're about 67, 68. And folks, that surprised me. When I heard these side by side, the two new machines, the 2021 editions, are actually, well, just as loud and the 16 inches much, much louder than the Intel machine when the fans are operating at maximum speed. So if you ever manage to max out the new 16 inch MacBook Pro and have the fans spin at full speed, then you're gonna have a lot of noise on your hands. However, I gotta say that in all my testing so far, building large projects, doing compilations, doing stress tests on these machines, the fan level has never gone even close to that on the new machines. So I don't think that that's something you really have to worry about. However, on the Intel machine, the fan is really easy to get going. All you gotta do is just start running some JavaScript code even, 
or you know a compilation like an xcode compilation that's it for today if you found this video useful or entertaining i'd appreciate a thumbs up do hit the subscribe button for more tests between these machines let me know what you want to see i got a lot of tests in the pipeline and any new ideas are welcome thanks to all those folks that have contributed appreciate your thoughts on some of the issues we've seen and some of your clever explanations all right folks see you next time thanks a lot